Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. In today's video, we have some information on the new Celestial Hero, Flora. Um, how we are going to get her for free, hopefully, uh, and her skills or... Um, Obviously anything subject to change until it's in the game, but what her skills are looking like being so let's get into the video Firstly, I just want to say a massive shout out to Gwendolyn uh, for finding all this info for me and messaging it to me while I was asleep I woke up to it. Uh, so absolutely pumped to get into this. So the first thing I want to look at is a Facebook post that they um, that AFK Arena made, which has helped us reach 200k Reddit followers. And you can see in the middle, there's that mysterious reward we're going to get. Uh, if we look at that, I'll close this text off for a second and I'll open up this one. Uh, that is going to be uh, like, you can see the headband thingy. I don't know what they actually call that thing. Uh, put in the comments if you know what they call that. I just left me. But um, she's going to be the one in the middle there, which is the suspected celestial hero, Flora. Now let's open up this text again. So this was, this was on a Facebook post. And basically they say, since the global release of AFK Arena, Reddit remains one of our most vibrant and active community platforms. We'd like to help uh, all of you to be up to date with AFK Arena conversations, guides, and event, and even memes. Uh, therefore, we are asking for your help to reach the milestone of 200,000 followers for our official subreddit in exchange for an amazing in-game reward. Uh, help us reach 200k followers within the specified time frame on our official subreddit and receive the mysterious reward. So the, the subreddit at the time of recording, this is at 190K. So it's very close. Uh, I'll leave links to all this stuff in the description. You can go to the subreddit, just follow the subreddit and uh, and we're pretty good. Only, like I said, only need 10,000 more and we are there. So that is pretty solid. So next up, we're gonna be looking at, let me just try and get rid of some of this stuff. Let's get rid of that, there we go. Uh, okay, so next up, we're going to be looking at the, the, the translated skills. Um, we did get this sneak peek of Flora probably, I want to say two or three months ago uh, for the JP release. We got this head image um, and then not much after that, but someone has translated the, the supposed skills. Uh, and if we go here and once again, nothing is set in stone until it's put into the game anyway, but I just figure we want to cover this stuff because you know, we're going to be getting a free copy and we want to see how it looks like it's going to be at the moment. So, uh, we, we don't know skill ups yet. Um, that's going to have to wait and see, but let's cover the skills. So, um, the ultimate sea of flowers, Flora targets the most densely packed group of enemies and unleashes a sea of flowers which lasts for so many seconds onto them dealing so much damage, uh, AOE damage to the targets. Enemies that are within the sea of flowers lose a certain amount worth of Flora's attack rating as health per second. Only one sea of flowers may be active at a time. So the thing, okay, well, that's pretty, pretty much makes sense. Um, it's based on her attack rating and she's going to do it for a certain period of time, dealing a certain amount of damage. That's pretty much it. It's a condensed field. Um, want to see the range on it will have an effect, whether it's like a, like the range of, um, Sophia's bomb, which has a massive range or whether it's more tightly based, uh, kind of like the vortex done by the chicken or something like that. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, next one, airborne. Flora flies high into the air at the beginning of the battle where she remains until all of her allies have perished. So she just, she, she just floats. She, she floats until everyone's gone. Uh, I'm curious to see, it would be, it would be really fun if there was like a glitch with this and Taylene, where if Taylene was dead in, in a lot of things in the game, Taylene being dead, isn't considered dead. Like forks will still banish people if a Taylene's dead, but reviving. It would be funny. I'd love to see. <laughs> I could push some campaign with that system. But anyway, I don't think they'll do it. They'll probably fix it and make sure that that doesn't happen. But we can dream. Um, during which time she cannot be targeted by any enemies or allies. Uh, while in the air, Flora consistently releases magic dust down onto her enemies, dealing a certain amount of AOE damage to the targets. So... 
This makes her a very interesting hero. We're all getting one free copy of her with Celestials and Hypergens. We always like to speculate on how good they're going to be with only a single copy. Um, now, it'll when we look at the rest of her ability, she does have a little bit of a support ability basis to her, but she also does have a lot of things based on her attack and her HP and stuff like that. So... It's going to be interesting to see. We'll go through the rest of her skills and then we'll do a recap on how I feel like she's going to pan out with all this stuff um, and how usable I think she'll be at Elite just based off of her skills. So, Flora sacrifices uh, a percent of her current health in order to send her little bird swooping across the battlefield. Now, I always, I already like this. So, like, anything with a pet, you guys know I'm going to love. Each enemy that... Uh, is in the little bird's path is dealt an amount of damage equal to a percentage of the health that Flora sacrificed. This ability cannot be used when Flora's health falls below a certain point. Now, this will be interesting. She does have a self heal, but it's like this will be capped because if she can't be targeted by her allies, um, when it says she can't be targeted, I'm assuming she's going to be immune to AOE effects as well of enemies and allies, which means she's only going to get self healing. So it'll be interesting to see whether she she's might be one that you want to put the chalice on to try and get that healing so she can keep going. It'll be interesting to wait and see how that works. Okay. But little birdie swooping across the field, I'm all cool with that. Uh, now, after inflicting, and this is still the same ability, after inflicting damage upon an enemy, the little bird grants each ally that is that it passes with a pr protective shield, which lasts for so many seconds. The shield is able to mitigate an amount of damage equal to a percentage of the health that Flora sacrificed. So this bird, it seems like it says it, it just... It's swooping across the battlefield. I don't think it's going to be like a massive eagle. Sounds like a little bird. So it seems like it's going to target one enemy and swoop from... Wait, I'm trying to look at myself. It's mirrored. Uh, it's swoop from your side of the battlefield um, at that enemy and obviously any allies in the range of that bird. So it's not going to hit everyone, I don't think. Um, but they are going to get a shield, which is nice. A nice little bit of support. But once again, this is going to require... I feel like higher levels, higher levels of ascension and stats on her to be more effective because it's based on the, the health that she sacrificed. And then the very end of that ability, damage dealt is equal to a percentage of the health sacrificed by Flora. So that's the damage dealt to enemies. Um, not too bad. Once again, very, very dependent on her stats. Okay, the next one, rejuvenation. Flora is able to recover a percentage of her max health per second in battles while using this ability simultaneously each time any non-summoned character, including enemies, recovers a percentage of their max health. Flora will also recover um, a percentage of that character's max health for herself. Um recovers x amount of own max health per second that is going to be interesting i'm already seeing synergies with obviously anything that heals but like something like a mahira who sacrifices her health at the start and then regains it really fast will be interesting with this one in healing her up so like i said before she's not going to be able to get targeted by heals of her allies but still healing is going to help because it's going to be, it, it's going to work. I mean, I'm just, just thinking of things that can heal themselves. Something like a, um, a Cirrus who starts the battle at 50% health, uh, with reduced health, but has the big increase. You've got things like Anarchy, the new hero who's recovering 5% per second. You've got things like, uh, uh, Arthur, who's recovering 5% per second with level 30 signature item. I feel like she's going to have a lot of synergies in that sense. So it will be interesting to see. And then diminish reduces and and this is um this is the signature item I believe reduces an enemy's haste by a percentage by so many points for so many seconds when the ability swoop deals critical damage to an enemy. So if she deals critical damage, she's going to be um, reducing haste, which will also be interesting to see. So that's basically the whole kit. So basically, she's floats in the air, can't be targeted. Um, she has a little bird that swoops, which is with signature item is going to reduce haze. Without, it's going to deal damage to the enemies and give shields to allies it goes through. Um, she's going to have her ultimate, which is like that little area doing damage of area of flowers doing damage. Um, and then, and it, and it deals, 
I, I think that AOE, the, the ultimate doesn't sound crazy, but we'll have to wait and see. If it has some skill ups that are really nice, um, we'll have to wait and see how that pans out. And then also she has her her healing where she if anyone on the field, including enemies heal, she's going to get healed as well. So it'll be interesting. I mean, the, to see how much she needs to sacrifice for her bird and then the numbers the bird actually produces um, will be interesting. But as for usability at Elite, I mean, she's she's going to be usable at Elite. Um, as in she'll survive because she can't be targeted until everyone else is dead. But as for effectiveness, until we see skill ups, I don't think she's going to be, like, this is just my opinion. Um, I don't think she's going to be fantastic at elite just because everything she does is based off her stats and there's nothing else that she really does except for the haste decrease on critical strikes um, with the bird swooping. But you don't get that until you have the signature item, which needs mythic anyway. Um, but having said that, tailing was similar where, you know, she does everything based on her stats, but she was, she's still good at elite. However, the good thing about Taylene was she was just a nice damage soak. She'd come back. Sometimes enemies would waste an ultimate on the Taylene and then she'd just die and come back and she'd keep distracting. Whereas this one, I just feel like everything is tied into her stats and like if, if say the shield by the bird was based on your allies HP, then it would be good. But we'll have to basically wait and see what the multipliers are like. Have to wait and see. I, I definitely think she's going to be decent. I mean, a hero that can't be targeted, I feel like is always going to be half decent, especially if you have some really thick heroes that can survive a long time, something like an Arthur. Um, but besides that, I, I, I honestly just think it's going to be a wait and see what the skill ups are, which are going to be key, and um, how she pans out. I don't know if she's going to be a support or a mage. That's going to be interesting to see as well, because she's kind of got some supporting abilities, and then she's kind of got the mage abilities, so she's a bit of a hybrid. So we'll have to wait and see what tree they put her in, but that is all the information we have at the moment of Flora, who's the suspected new celestial hero. Um, but jump over to the Reddit, uh, subscribe to the Reddit, or follow the Reddit and uh, 10,000 more and we should be getting a free copy announcement of her pretty soon but that is going to be it for this one guys sorry it was just a text heavy uh, video but I just wanted to cover that information because I like new heroes so that is going to be it for this one guys thanks for watching hope you have an awesome day and I'll look forward to seeing the next one cheers